If you've ever had a problem on Facebook where you've had to deal with Facebook support, you know just how incompetent and helpless they seem to be. Often you're dealing with bots who will give you auto responses, and even when you actually do get through to an actual person, they're either reluctant or incapable of helping you. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you several ways where you can contact Facebook support and actually get a response from an actual person to actually get your problem solved. This can help you report pretty much any problem on Facebook from issues like a great out buy button and no shipping option to problems with specific buyers to glitches that might only be affecting your account specifically to even getting your Facebook marketplace account back up after a wrongful restriction. Now, in my experience, dealing with Facebook support is a lot like dealing with Amazon or eBay support, meaning that you won't always get the same help or always the same level of support depending on the rep. Different employees are more willing to help than others and different employees are even more able to help than others. Often to get success dealing with Facebook support, I recommend implementing the hang up and call again approach that's worked so well for so many Amazon and so many eBay sellers. Meaning if you don't get the response that you're looking for, or you don't get any help, or even if you get a bot response, simply resubmit the form, resend another email, or re-report the problem. And potentially, the next time your issue might go to somebody that can actually help you. And believe it or not, this approach has served me well over the years on both Facebook and especially Amazon. For example, I'd call Amazon support, and if they couldn't help me, I'd literally hang up, and recall again. The next call would often go to a completely different support rep who might be in a completely different mood and might be actually able or more capable of helping me that time. The same overall strategy can be applied when dealing with Facebook support as well. Now, there are certainly some things that will increase the likelihood of getting your problem solved a lot faster. The first one, in my experience, is the most effective, and that's to simply respond to an old Facebook support email with your new problem. If you're dealing with Facebook support, and this is not specifically Facebook business support for this example, but if you're dealing with Facebook support, then in most cases, they never close the case out. Therefore, you can always respond to an old case simply by replying to an old support email, and then you know your issue is actually going directly to a support rep and you'll get a response. This works if you've ever had a correspondence previously with Facebook support before. And if you haven't, that's totally fine as well. You will after you implement the next few tips that we'll cover, and then you can come back to this first strategy after you've built up some previous correspondence with Facebook support. This doesn't always work immediately, but it does work if you stay with it. Remember, the hang up and call again approach. For example, the way I was able to get my buy button back so quickly from being grayed out, or how I was able to get my marketplace back from a restriction was simply because I would go to my inbox, pick like three previous support emails, and then send a template that looked like this. Sometimes it would work and sometimes it didn't, but typically at least one of those emails would get a response that cleared up the issue. Here's an example of an email response I would get where the rep wouldn't or maybe couldn't help me. Here's an example of an email response where the rep would actually help me and then they solve the problem. And here's even an example of a Facebook business support rep restoring my payments on my business account. So remember, reply to an old support email and use the hang up and call again strategy until you get someone that can actually help you. And obviously this goes without saying, but you'll see a greater level of success with this. If you respond to the emails from support reps that have actually helped you in the past, I recommend starring those emails and then coming back to them the next time you need them. The next way you can report a problem on Facebook is to simply shake your phone. You want to go to the specific place where that problem is happening and then shake your phone and you'll see a box pop up with the you can report the problem that you're experiencing to Facebook. This also works from time to time and can actually result in somebody responding to you to actually help you. Although it typically doesn't happen as fast as the others and sometimes it can take 24 or even 48 hours to get a response. But it can help and I recommend trying it in conjunction with the first strategy. Another method that's been super effective is submitting forms on Facebook. There are many forms to submit and you'll need to know one, how the hell to actually locate the forms which is a completely different topic Topic. And number two, how to actually know which correct form to submit for your specific situation. So here are some useful links to help you recover your shop and your marketplace account 
or report problems when you actually need to get responses. Keep in mind, you may need to actually be logged in and be on a desktop to see these, but they do work and you will get a response. Also, if you're unsure which one fits your situation, then pick a few and submit them all. I'll make sure to put all of these links in the description below if you need them. Finally, if all else fails, even if you're dealing with a personal Facebook marketplace issue, I recommend contacting Facebook business support. Again, you can simply submit one of the previous forms that I just showed you that deals specifically with Facebook support tickets for business, or you can go directly to your business.facebook.com profile or your commerce account and then go to the question mark at the bottom left corner. By clicking that, that will open up the help section on the top right of your browser. And from there, you can either report a problem again from Facebook business support or contact Facebook support from there. Now, when you contact Facebook support from there, you'll have three options. You can submit a form here, you can hop on a messenger chat, or you can hop on a phone call, depending on your specific problem and your specific situation. Now, the good thing about Facebook business support is they seem much more equipped to actually help you and much more willing to actually do so. And you know that you're always dealing with an actual person not getting some canned bot response. And even if they can't help you, in my experience, they typically at least forward your issue you to the correct team that can. One of these, or maybe all of these methods might help you get in touch with Facebook support and actually get an answer that will actually help you.